Hello, everyone. Thank you for your coming. I'm Yuliu from Tsinghua University. Today, I'm going to present our work on modeling NRA relational knowledge base. This is the outline. Google proposed the concept of knowledge graph in 2014, and since then, the knowledge base has been a hot topic in artificial intelligence. Formally, the knowledge base is a database to store and represent knowledge with triplet facts. Its main components are the entity and the relation. For example, in this knowledge graph, you can find Law Museum and Paris are entities, and they are connected by the relation is located in. However, relations in this figure and the traditional knowledge bases are all binary relations, but there are many beyond binary relations. The entity of these relations are more than two, and they always connect more than two entities. Here are two examples of beyond binary relations and their example fact. We can say that the relation play character in connects the actor, character, and the movie entity together. Well, the relation a Bayesian degree from connects the person degree and the university entity. These beyond binary relations are very common in our life, and when we describe some facts with temporal or spatial information, it can also be defined as a beyond binary relational fact. Based on this finding, some recent studies tend to earn every knowledge base. The NRA knowledge base store and represent binary and beyond binary relational facts together, which is much more general than traditional binary knowledge base. Below is an example of NRA knowledge base with the binary and the ternary relations existing. Overall, compared with the traditional research, the NRA knowledge base is much more universal, helpful and practical. A surprising truth is that in the famous knowledge base, free base, there are over 60% relations are beyond binary, and these relations connect over 30% entities of the whole base. Another strength is that in the NRA knowledge base, relations with different entities can provide more knowledge. For example, a binary relational fact may tell you somebody with something. Well, beyond binary relations can provide the time domain or spatial domain information. Besides the, besides, the higher area relational facts are much more closer to the setting, which can support more NLP applications. Therefore, in this work, we focus on NLP relational knowledge base. An important research problem is to model the knowledge base. In traditional knowledge base, the modeling problem is to design a scoring function to measure if a binary relation can connect the head entity and the tail entity. And a typical task is the knowledge base completion. Following the problem in the traditional case, in this work, we want to design a scoring function for the NLP knowledge base. To adapt to the increasing knowledge data, we require the scoring function to be linear complexity, and the function should be fully expressive to represent any types of relations, including the symmetric relations and the inverse relations. These requirements are also the challenges for modeling NRA knowledge base. Next, I will introduce our modeling framework. Our model is based on the row semantics in NRV relations. To be specific, recent work defined the NRV fact in a tuple form with one relation and several entities. However, we argue that the NRV relation can be decomposed in five-grade rows, and the rows can better explain the semantics and the related needs between the entity and the relation. For example, still in this knowledge base, the relation was governor of 
can be decomposed into state and governor roles, which are mapping to California and Schwarzenegger in the fact. And the relation play character in can also be represented represent, uh, can also be represented by these ro uh, three roles: the actor, character, and the movie. These roles indicate the semantic of a specific entity to the fact, which is much more clear than the tuple definition. In this way, the NRA relational fact is written in a row entity form, and the modeling NRA knowledge base is simplified to desire scoring function phi with the rows and entities. Therefore, compared with recent works on relation level modeling, in this work, we model the NRA knowledge base from row level. Then I will introduce our modeling design for the entity and the row aspect one by one. From the entity aspect, through this example, we notice that one entity can have more than one meaning or semantics in a knowledge base. For example, the entity Charles Nager has a politics semantic to the relation what governor of and has a star semantic to the relation play character in. On the other hand, we rethink the powerful bilinear models in traditional knowledge base. In the below table, we found that although these models propose different designs for scoring function, in fact, these designs reach the same point that each entity has multiple embedding vectors. Therefore, we design a multi-embedding mechanism, giving an entity multiple embeddings for its multiple semantics. As for the row aspect, we found that different relations may share similar or same roles, just like the row movie in relation play character in and relation director of. Although the rules are important for the NR relation, most existing datasets don't have the explicit role information. Therefore, to capture the similarity between relations as well as overcoming the information leak, we propose a latent role space to learn the role embedding collectively and implicitly. Moreover, we can say that an every fact is composed by n rows and n entities. Usually, each row relates differently with the entities. For example, the row movie is more related with the entity Schwarzenegger than the entity Terminator 800, because Schwarzenegger is frequently mentioned with the movie in the real world. Based on this, we develop a pattern matrix to capture the row-aware interaction pattern. In this page, we will illustrate our design idea. First, the model is referred as RAM for the row-aware modeling. And on the left part, the multi-embedding mechanism is represented by an embedding matrix for each entity. And next, on the right part, the gray part is the latent row space, and the relations use the weight vector alpha to calculate the embedding and match pattern matrix for the different roles. Finally, the scoring function is designed with multilinear product to measure the related needs between each row and its involved entities. The functions should give high scores to the positive NR effect, while give low scores to the negative In this table, we compare RAM with several baselines in terms of scoring function and model complexity. According to the multilinear product, as well as the latent row space, we can see that RAM achieves the linear time and space complexity. Moreover, we have proved that RAM can represent any type of NR relation, which has an enough learning capacity for NR knowledge based modeling. Besides the linear complexity and the full expressive needs, an important strength of RAM is the generalization. We have proved that by adjusting the row-aware pattern matrix, 
RAM can generalize to several powerful bilinear models in knowledge-based modeling. This also guarantees its performance on binary knowledge-based completion. Please refer to our paper for more details. Next, I will introduce some experimental results. In this work, we use three NRA datasets and two benchmark binary datasets for evaluation. This table shows the statistics of the each dataset. The main task is the knowledge-based compilation, and the several NRA knowledge-based modeling approaches are compared in the experiments. For the NRA knowledge-based compilation task, the overall performance is shown in the table, and the performance across every test are plotted below. It can be observed that our proposed RAM model performs the best among all baselines across most every test. This also indicates that RAM successfully captures the missed information across every test, so that they can help modeling each other. We also evaluate if RAM model can work well on the traditional binary knowledge base. Several state-of-the-art models in binary case are compared. For the first three NRA datasets, we only test the binary facts. Since RAM can train on the whole NRA facts, it can see more of the knowledge base, which all form the baseline. And the results also indicate that the mixed heritage relations can provide positive gains for the binary knowledge based modeling. As for the two binary datasets, WN18 and FB15K, RAM achieves a close and even better performance, which validates our desired framework. Besides the great information, great performance, our RAM model also provides explanation to the relation semantics. To be specific, our proposed row-aware pattern matrix can capture the semantics. For the symmetric relation, the head entity and the tail entity can ex exchange their positions with the same score abatement. This property requires the two rows of pattern matrix to be similar, just like the pattern matrix of the supposed relation in F FB15K. Well, for the inverse relation pair R1R and R2, if E1 and E2 are the head and the tail entities of relation R1, they can exchange their position for relation R2. This property requires the rows of R1's pattern matrix can be exchanged to the uh, abatement R2's pattern matrix just like the pattern matrix of inverse relations in WN18 below. And the definition 1 and 2 show the theoretical understanding on this pattern matrix. The, these results show the strength of our row aware design and provide an insight for the interpretable solution for knowledge-based modeling. According to the talk, we focus on NRA relational knowledge based modeling. Through our work, we present some key points for this problem. First, the row based semantic is quite essential and general for NRA knowledge base. Second, a good modeling approach should achieve the linear complexity as well as the full expressiveness. Moreover, considering the many efforts in typical binary knowledge base, NRA modeling approach should generalize well to the binary case. And in the next step, we plan to incorporate the background knowledge for modeling and consider special design for numerical knowledge and text information. That's all my presentation. Thank you. I'm happy to take any questions.